how to create a CSS loader and in this screen my computer screen you can see a CSS loader is going here you can make like this type of CSS loader after watching this full videos and from today I'm going to start with this CSS loader series this is my first video about my CSS loaders so CSS loaders I will make a lot of CSS loader type and how much I know I will experiment everything on your eyes into this my YouTube channels is good so you can subscribe my channels and now let's get started this videos for this how to create a CSS loader so here's I have um, I have to open my base code so this is the visual studio code I have opened this and now I will you can see here I have already created a file that is loader.html so this file I have nothing so I have to complete that so first of all I will type this shape plus one then click on enter here so now I will change here this is the title so I'm typing here the CSS hello sorry I have mistake on CSS loader okay that's it so here is I have to go this the body section now here I will type a class name loader in O so here I will type a class name loader and now I have to copy this class name and after this body section I will open this style file one here but you can also open this style file in another file like a style.css and you can connect this style file link tag here so I'm just directly open here this style file so that it will be the screen will be perfect and you can get it easily so here's I'm directly open the style file so style file is open here and now I will add here the basic CSS that is a star so here's I will type the margin 0 and here's I will type the padding 0 and here's I will type the box sizing border box so that this skin will be on this side of this on this left right and this bottom every time we'll do this in the box in the border box so that's this is on this box we write that hot element we are entering that that element will not go outside of this skin so this is the border box is what like that so after this so we'll open this class name here we'll add this class name and enter that so here's i will type this first of all position relative so because of this our CSS this border I am in this loader I am going to make this CSS loader box so here's I will type this position relative so that will be work for this on our background with this our background it will be work so now I will type here the color so here you can type any type of color so I am going to choose here RGB color so that's why I just type 00 so here's I will choose that colors oh, that's color okay so we can use this color for anywhere so here's now after this position relative oh, sorry before this position relative I will add here top from the top from the top I will add here this 40 VS so it will be vertically center here and from this left Okay, from this left I will add here 40% so it will be from this left and right it will be also center okay this is left and top and right here is so now I will type here this border border will be I'm adding here the 4 pixel solid so it will be this border color will be on the adjust by the colors so here's I will now here I will add that a border radius so here's I will add border radius 40 pixel and if you open this file we want to check this let's see what it's showing here you can see is it's like this so now we have to add here width and height so I will add here with this 300 pixel and height height I will add here the 50 pixel okay now let's open this one with the live server and you can see it's on the center from the left right and top bottom it's on the center so now here is this is the section is completed here this height width and the colors we have added there so here's I can add another thing that our system or design not be will be effect here so we can type here the overflow hidden okay that's it so after typing this so now we are going to this inside of this the loader box section so we'll type here the class name and we'll be type here the double clone as the before because when we want to make this load this want this 
and this before will work from here from this before this section is before and this section is after from this before we will be load some element into this so here so we will type here the before and we style file open here and here we will type top 0 and here we will be type this left left I will type here this 20 pixel and here I will type the bottom bottom will be 0 bottom will be 0 here and this is top left and the bottom is here and now I will add here some margin ok I will add margin that you can't understand that what is the margin is working here but I will explain that so first of all I will add here inside this inside this loader box section here so I will type this background so I'm typing this background color is the same so here so I will add this background color and now if you open this file HTML file so you will not see anything here because there is we added this background there is no height so we have to add some width here so we, I will add here with this 50 pixel and now you will be see that background element is showing here something but not showing because of this the position we have to add here the position absolute so now it will be pop up there and it's still not pop up in here okay the border for showing this this border element this background so we have to add here a content box so here will be add content box and this double quotation okay that's it so now this border will be this element is we have added that that will be shown here you can see but this is section and this top and bottom is and everything is is on this inside of this the bottom border here but we have to make some space on this around of this so we'll go to base code and here we'll type this margin so that will work for this space for here so we'll add this margin to pixel and now if we open this you will be see here some space from here top and bottom and left and right okay so now we have to go this and now this almost this element is the property is almost added so now we'll add here the animation the animation property here animation property we will be type here the class name or you can type anything here so I'm typing directly the class name like that because we are making this animation here so loader and here's now we'll type here one second linear infinite okay linear infinite so now we have to copy this loader animation how to type it here so now we will open here the keyframe you know that this every for every animation we have to type this keyframe and then we will type to that animation property and then open this style file and this here's now we will be type this 100 person will make here so 100 person will be moved from this right to width so here's i will type this 100 person open this file and now i will type this it will be from the left side so left side will be here's 100 percent from I will be type here this from this it will be the animation will be start from this left side and it will be go to that hundred percent on the right side. So now we will open this and let's see. You can see it's going to left and right. This is small, and now we'll make some style into this element. So here go to this type, and here we can type if we want to make this border radius circle. Border radius we can add here the fifty percent. So it will be the as a circle it will work as a circle here so now you can see it's work as a circle but this width is high because of this width it's not suitable as like that so you can make it width is 30 pixel maybe it will be okay let's open you can see now it's going some more increase decrease this height so we'll type here this 40 so now it will be as a circle you can see now it's looking as like a circle okay so now we can make this some more different type of shape here we can add this so here's in this border radius section i will type here this 50 percent is almost here so i will type this 50 percent zero and 50 percent zero so it will be here left and right top and bottom so it will be make a beautiful shape here so you can see this type of shape is going here we can add some more styles and more type of shape here by using clip path here 
so I'm going to this open this clip path CSS I'm typing here the clip path CSS is almost here but I can open this directly but I'm going to show you that how you can find this so go to down and we want to make this this clip path CSS we want to use this the Benity Philly the Benity Philly .com. so we want to make this and visit that and now I will choose here the clip path CSS so here you can make this type of CSS style element so like this I'm going to show you this ok now copy this element of this silk clip path here and remove this border radius and enter here so now if we open this live server and we can see this beautiful effect here and now we can add some more effect so I'm going to here this clip path CSS here we can add this also so you just activate this this is just copy this clip path CSS and this enter here just paste it and now we can see it's also more another beautiful effect inside this okay now I'm going to add one more so that will be I'm typing this I want to make this arrow okay let's copy it and go to CSS paste it here and now open it with this live server and you can see arrow is going inside this left to right and it's a loaded animation you can make this different type of this animation you can make this inside of this element you can make different type of shape and different type of style here so that will be very looking as good if beautiful here so hope you understand this videos how you can make this as css animation loader so this everything is inside inside your creativity here how much you learn and how much you can implement yourself and be practice yourself about that and you can mostly you can make a more beautiful animation css loader from mine so hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video please like on this and share this video with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon for mention all updates thank you so much for watching this video and goodbye